Hi, I'm JJ. Um, welcome to this little clip of the Devon War Games group at Fun um, with our annual Gus Murchie Memorial Christmas game in which 24 members of the club took part in a giant French Indian War set two. And this is really just to give you a little bit of the flavour of the, uh, the day with uh, everybody having fun, coming together in one big game. Uh, lots of um, festive uh, seasonal food on offer for uh, a stop for lunch and um, much fun was had by all. Anyway, uh, enjoy. Where's who's in half cover? Is he in the half cover on the floor? No, no. Is he? Yeah. Is he in the building there? You're not firing at all. You fired at you because I thought I was on the floor. I thought he was in front of people on the floor. He was on a rocking chair. He was in soft cover. He was in the train to get in here. Who are you shooting? 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 Who are Excuse me, Bob. Slide in here, It's seamless. Okay. If we can. So this is the one where you can fly. No, no. Yeah. They're not going near that. They're going to show us. On the roof up here. <laughs> <laughs> As you see, the uh, rules being used by the guys uh, are the uh, Rebels and Patriot rules from the uh, Osprey series. And we found these are really, really great for uh, big games like this uh, with multiple players. Easy to get your head around if you're not familiar with and um, quite um, flexibly adaptable as well for uh, when we want to add a bit more uh, interest and detail to our games. But um, yeah, they've become a bit of a turn two set. How we doing? So we started that. We just be keeping it safe. Okay. We're good. British movement. Oh yeah. So now it's our move. Again. Excuse me, Miss Sam. Is it within 12? The other officers in there. So it's up to do with Do these first I think it's them that way. Do these first Right, so it's 12. And they pass. This is an easy one. Let's get Mark doing an instructional video for how to play Rebels and Patriots. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, well, I couldn't possibly follow. <laughs> At least we're not colour coordinated. <laughs> <laughs> <Come on, laughs> <this game. laughs> amazing, eh? Go off, people. Amazing. What are you talking about? So, in the album, is it still five or six here? Yeah. It's just But I've got. First, first fire, so that's two, two, two more times uh, each on that one. And the morale two. Oh, close. 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 O
Vice Chairman Charles. Yeah. 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 So that's actually a four yeah. minus two. Yeah. two. Just yeah. the yeah. best. Yeah. 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 Did you take one off because of this? Oh, has he got this sort of got this sort of the premise for our game uh, sees the uh, French uh, Indian forces um, arrayed on the British uh, American frontier launching a succession of raids and attacks against uh, frontier outposts and uh, farmsteaders. And what we uh, had was a sort of a circulating um, supply of French and Indian troops who were on the attack and uh, obviously coming up against some stiff British resistance. Uh, and so as you, units were vaporised, they were quickly recycled and would be able to come back on as a, a new unit. Uh, which kept the game rolling along throughout the uh, the afternoon, um, with the idea that uh, the French were uh, intent on um, uh, burning um, the farmsteads, uh, homes, and um, any British forts that they were able to get hold of, um, and taking away any livestock. So you'll see the occasional pig and goat and uh, chicken running around the tables, um, set up as potential booty for our French Indian raiders to uh, to get hold of. In the end, the British did a sterling job. Only a few farmsteaders' uh, homes were, were set alight and uh, most of the uh, livestock was uh, retained as well. So um, it was a tough day at the office for the French. But uh, much fun was had by all and um, we, uh, we signed off the year good and proper. And it really me leaves it only for me to uh, wish everyone a very, very happy Christmas um, and uh, here's looking forward to another wargaming year in 2024. Okay, thank you.